hey dear welcome to you with my youtube channel and welcome to in our shopify seo master class with ai and today is the first class and we are going to cover this course based on specific question and step by step of course from the beginning level to advanced level so as we cover this course with ai and today is the first class we are going to cover one of the most important issue and one of the most asked question on the google or others faq website like quora so the question is that why shopify store not showing up on google and in this video we are going to find out the reason also we are going to find out the process how we can fix this issue to show up our website or store on google so let's start with chat gpt because we are going to learn everything with ai so here is the very common answer good question this is a common issue many store owner face here are the main reason why your store might not showing up on google okay number one reason your store is new so if your store is new then sometimes google takes time to index your website and in many cases you may have to wait for few days few week after launching before your store appear in the search result so in general it's very rare but if you submit your website very perfectly without any issue in the google search console let me show you if you submit your website right away on google search console then your website must be appear on the search result but when you search your website with a specific keyword to check it rank or down then it will take more time but if you search directly for example i'm going to my website e-commerce thesis and i'm going to search directly with this name e-commerce thesis so let me show you e-commerce thesis you see my website is appear in here in the same way if your website very new and you submit your website google search console right away then your site also appear like this one you see light shot let me show you looks here looks good okay then the second reason site not indexed if google has not crawled and indexed your site it would not show up you can check by searching site your name so this is very most common reason because you have not submit your website in right way like submit sitemap or verify the domain so let me show you to check where set is searched or indexed on google just add my website name looks here site your site name dot com search like so you see my site is if you are that mean all the link from my website so you have to search like so site then add your website link okay looks very carefully the skin then you can understand very better way so you have to submit your website in google search console verify the domain then submit the uh, sitemap i have already uploaded video relevant to this tutorial so topics how to submit your website on google how to submit sub sitemap or how to work to index your website you can check out the link in the video description then you will find shopify seo a to z or full course step by step for beginner also you can search with a specific issue on my youtube channel very simple then the another things that maximum new user do this is password protected is enabled 
in shopify let me go to my shopify partner account then show you the in details many new users do this mistake they don't disable password protected and that's why their site is not appear in the search result so how you can disable so log in your shopify admin panel and you see here is the already guideline how you can do this looks here the chat gpt or ai already shared the answer so go back i'm going to log in any website of my shopify partner account and for example go to the this one okay so how we can fix this issue password protected is enabled we have to go to online store preference so online store preference you see wait a little bit time then you can understand a better way and here is the password protection enable on login create an account password recovery page okay you see here is a highlight your online store is in development to let visitor access your store give them the password that's mean under development website must have to password protected but if it is not under development then you can enable and disable the password protection in here so you must have to disable to show up your website on google search result so i hope you understand how you can fix this issue or control this issue then no sitemap submitted to google search console you must have to submit your website sitemap on google search console this is very important because if you don't submit your sitemap on google search console then you never can get your website on google search result so now i'm going to show you how you can do this again so search google search console i have already account on google search console so this is my google search console account then you will find a menu named sitemap and here you have to add your sitemap so how you can add your sitemap just go to google or bard another ai tools and search on how to create and submit sitemap of shopify store in google search console that's mean how we can create and submit our sitemap in google search console so you see there is very automate option creating your shopify sitemap it automate so looks here the great news is that shopify automatically generate a sitemap for your store you don't need to create it manually that's mean we don't have to create any sitemap manually and it is typically looked at your site slash sitemap dot xml so that's when we just have to sitemap xml then click on the submit then our sitemap automatically submitted and if there are no issue then you can see the success status otherwise you can see warning or pending anything but in general if you submit everything correctly then you will show the success status in here so i hope you understand also then block by robot.txt file shopify automatically create a robot.txt file but if some pages are accidentally blocked google will skip them google will not crowd all or in index them on the search engine check the file at your site name dot robot dot txt file i have already video on my youtube channel let me show you
how to fix block by robot dot txt file so search i'm going to my youtube channel and want to show you video hey dear, welcome to and there will be an option of course yes search on here block by robot to you see block by robot to how to fix i have already published an article about this topics okay then low quality and thin content if you publish any page where you don't have enough content that explain details about this page and reader or your visitor get benefit or information then it's okay but if you add few text on the page or few sentences and that is not relevant and that is not helpful then google does not index it so you have to add quality content in each page then you can see your website or page on the google search server number seven no backlink or authority yet this is not very important reason but uh, sometimes it happen when your site does not have any backlink or authority yet then google don't count it or don't like to index your site and finally the technical seo problem like slow site sometimes if your website take too much time to load then google coral does not index your site because it does not check your website in a perfect time or for mobile usability can also harm your visibility so here is the all the reason why your site is not showing up on google search engine or google and here is the quick checklist how you can fix it remove password protection i have already shared how to remove password protection in here then submit sitemap i have also show you how to submit sitemap then check site colon your site name dot com to see what is indexed that i already show you in here my website indexed courses page blog page service page and dell page everything indexed in here okay then make sure ruboto is not blocking important pages i have already a guideline in here how to fix this issue and check everything all the details in here and add unique product description and more content you must have to add well written content that describe your product or your page nicely to your audience and finally build some backlink from social profile blog etc so i hope you understand how to fix this issue and why it's happened so thank you for your time to watch this video if you think this video is helpful then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you need any service support relevant shopify wordpress or seo then you can contact with me have a nice day bye bye